The need for blood is always intense, but even more so in the dead of winter. Every two seconds, someone needs blood. Whether it's a trauma patient, cancer patient, or new mother, donated blood could be the difference between if someone lives or dies. Usually, I like to explain to people when school's not in, our blood supplies are short. Um, we do come to the U of I many days a week, and when school is out, there's no students to, to uh, have blood drives with. Everyone has their own reason for donating their blood for someone else's sake. Some may have had their lives touched by a donation, while others feel that it's just morally right to pass on a piece of themselves. It's not so much of a personal connection for me as an ethical obligation. I have blood, someone else needs the blood, it won't hurt me to lose it. Might as well, it makes sense to me. Students are encouraged to donate because there's a possibility that you may have a universal blood type, like Melissa Lynch, which means the amount of lives that you can save are endless. And I actually just found out my blood type is O negative, so I can give to all blood types. So I try and now I'm going to make it a, a thing to try and come out as much as I can. So Students are provided snacks and beverages after they donate to ensure they won't suffer any problems afterwards. Dash says that her job does not only require taking patients' blood, but she also takes pride in educating students on the benefits of their donations. I know I try to educate the students quite a bit when they're in the chairs, you know, explain how it works, um, who can receive their blood, just anything to get them interested. Ralph Cooper, UI7 Newsbreak.